I decided to do development work because of the passion I have to help people. And I cultivated that passion uh, when in 1979, there was a coup d'etat in Ghana that affected my father's job. And so my father took us to the village. Before I went to the village, I was living with my parents in Accra. I wouldn't say we were very rich, but we had at least basic necessities of life to make our lives comfortable. So when we went to the village, that was when I came to face to face with the contracts between what we see in Accra and what is in the village. Growing up as a child, I hadn't carried water on my head before. For the first time in my life, I had to go to the stream to fetch water and bring home every day before I went to school. I went to live in the village for about one year where I enrolled in a village school. And there I came face to face with the realities of what children who attend school in the village go through. Classroom without teachers, teaching without teaching aids, and learning with lantern instead of being in the light that I have seen. So going through that as a child, I decided that when I grow up with my passion to support people, I will do development work. And so when I went to the university, I did a degree in sociology and law. And I had to choose between pursuing the law degree or doing further studies in development. I opted to do a master's program in development planning and management because I thought that was where my heart desire was. And that was what could help to fulfill my uh, heart ambition. And so I have, in my development work, always combine that competence, which is the academic work that I have learned, and the connection, which is the emotional quotient uh, of my development work. And that has been the drive and the passion for me to succeed in whatever field that I find myself. My village now has become a small town. So there is a, a small town pipe system. And so most of the girls and boys there don't fetch water on routine basis as we used to do some years back. However, because sometimes the systems are not reliable and they break down, that stream is still there. And whenever the system is broken down and it takes too long to fix, people go back to the river to fetch water from there. They still have that experience of going back to the river whenever the system is not functioning. It is important for me to do this work in Ghana because I see myself contributing directly to the development in Ghana. I had the opportunity of a scholarship to study abroad, but I did not decide to stay and work abroad. My ambition was to go back to Ghana and in my own small way contribute to the development in Ghana. I'm working directly with a government agency, which is CWSC, Community Water and Sanitation Agency. And I get the joy of working with my Ghanaian colleagues when we sit down to look at how best can we, in our own small way, contribute to addressing the water situation in our country. Working as a Ghanaian in Ghana, I also serve as a role model for a lot of young girls. 
people look up to me and people are happy. If you go to the villages, they see you as a woman, they see you as a woman leading such process. And you see a lot of young girls striving to be like you. Just going out there, leading discussions, being at community meetings, and making presentation. Indirectly, I'm also contributing to motivating more girls to go to school and take up leadership position. Most girls have approached me, they've asked me, how did you do it? Most people, when they see me, they think that, oh, she grew up in Accra. She had all the luxuries in life to be able to get herself at where she is. But when I sit and tell them my story, they get motivated that they can do it. And so being in Ghana for me, bring me the joy of directly contributing to the development of our country. Seeing my Ghanaian colleagues, working with them to think through solutions, and then also seeing our results on the ground. In our own small way, we are contributing to moving Ghana from where it is now to a better place.